and welcome back to part 7 of L.A. Noir. So we just got done going Jacob through the Henry house had a violent argument with his wife last night. He's looking more and more likely. Uh, with my money, the broad keeps the house looking like that, so probably deserved it. Okay. He says bring him in and keep the hacks off our Oh, crap. Oh, come on! Sorry. My partner is kind of massaging his anything. But anyway. Uh, we went to their residence and it was a break and there was no one all all in the house. Good to see you there. come to your senses, Cole. Yeah. I always said work the evidence. I only stipulated oh, a connection. Can you guys stop talking so I can actually talk? Of investigation we yep. should leave open. And as far as I'm concerned, it still is. There we go. Right turn here. Wait, I don't. Wait, where am I going? Stop. Stop the car. Where I got this thing going, soon? Jacob Henry's apartment. Alright, well, we're heading there, ain't we? Oh, it's up here, alright. If we survive this, it's gonna be a miracle. Alright, come on. Oh, oh, okay, this ain't Skyrim. I can't drive my fucking vehicle up here. My bad. S shit, sorry, sorry. Can I drive it up here? Just go easy, Phelps. No. Can I tell you how to drive? Why, why do you have me driving this car? Oh god, they're panicking on the sidewalk. Alright, maybe I can get him through here. Alright. Shit, there's a fence. Alright. There's some off running, but we made it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, Phelps, we go in hard. You follow my lead. Alright, we gonna fucking shoot the guy? I don't know, this apartment is pretty familiar to stuff I saw in Grand Theft Auto V. I was kicking the door. You Jacob Henry? Yeah. Who's asking? LAPD. Us. You're under arrest for the murder of your wife, Celine Henry. Murder? Celine? Save the dramatic. Oh, oh my for RKO, god. pal. You got bigger problems. What the hell are you talking about? You, you come in here, you, you tell me that Celine is. Take a seat, Mr. Henry. That she's... We're going to have a look around, I... then we'll talk. Jesus. You say it right I'm there. I'm sorry. I... <sighs> Let's take a look around here. Let's see what we got. Book. The I alcohol. Is I doubt it. Your you're a flight risk, pal. All right. Yeah, they definitely do have a shrinking problem. Let's see. Telephone. We don't make a phone call yet. Oh, what's this? You think the atmosphere is thick in here? Wait till you try to cast it. Thanks for the, um, what's it say? Phelps, this is some really odd petite, uh, police detective work here, I'm just gonna say. Thanks for the offer. I need you to do something about my wife. Is there a thing where he's signing that? It looks like... No, it doesn't look like it. The what oldest about? problem there is. What to do about the old lady. Hmm. Death front note. Okay, there's a clue there. Let's see what we got back here. Oh, it looks like it doesn't... Ooh, look at these shoes! What size are these shoes? Size 11. Size 11s. I don't think they, I don't know if these were the ones. I think the guy was wearing an 8. So it wasn't him. I got a baseball bat. I don't think this is the murder weapon. I don't think so. No. Because what we saw in the opening cutscene, it wasn't that. It wasn't even a cutscene from the last video. See anything in the kitchen? You know, all I had to do is just spam fucking X con uh, A constantly, and maybe I'll get some. Uh, let's see anything else. What's in that football? No, I don't want to talk to him yet. Wait, what's this? No, that's that, irrelevant. No, and I won't do it. Looks like that was a baseball glove. What's in the trash? Can we check the trash? No. 
Maybe I should check outside. Give me a second here. Well, maybe the thing or something out here I can actually check. Ah, oh, well, I fucking failed at that because I walked over here, really? Okay, Phelps, we're going hard. You follow my lead. I mean, he, he was right there. You Jacob Henry? That's... Yeah. Who's asking? LAPD. Sir, does this seem kind of familiar to you? Celine Henry. Murder? Celine? Save the dramatic. Oh my god. RKO, pal. You got bigger problems. <laughs> what the hell? It's like are me you trying to beat about? this fucking section of the game. You come in here, you, you tell me that Celine is. Take a seat, Mr. Henry. She's... We're going to have a look around, I... then we'll talk. Jesus. I'm sorry. I... <sighs> Alright, so, so far, I think the only thing I found was this right here, so here we go, Go ahead and get this out of the way. Of course, we had to cover in the whole goddamn thing, because fucking Phelps over here can't put two to do together, on what it exactly says. You think the atmosphere is thick in here? Wait till you try to gas you. The oldest problem there is. What to do about the old lady? Yeah, okay. Now, I don't think. I don't remember anything being in here. There's just shoes. And there's nothing else here. We better, like, just go ahead and double check, make sure, you know, maybe there's something in here. And double check the shoes, because we're in a killer use in a size 8. This is a size 11. Size 11s. So, it wasn't him who actually murdered her. There's a baseball bag. I don't think there's anything we can do back here. We're kind of trapped, so I don't. I think we just need to go ahead and start talking to him. Because there's nothing in there. I don't think there's anything here. Nothing in the box. Um, yeah, let's just go and chat up with him. So, who could have killed Celine? Where did she go last night, Jacob? A bar, I suppose. Look, I don't know. Bullshit, you know. You know where she went, Jacob. You're lying. Why would I help you if you keep lying to me? Look, I'm telling you, I don't know. Let's see here. Here we go, right here. We know she went to the Bomber Club. The bartender there, he, he calls me if things are getting out of hand, and I go, and I bring her home. He called me last night, and I said no. Phone rang a couple more times after that. I ignored it. I'm going to have to live with that. Yep. You're going to live with a lot of things. When did you last see your wife, Mr. Henry? Last night. I went to see her. We talked. Things got a little out of hand. I left. Hmm. Let's take a look here. Marital problems. It's part of black eye after a fight. Yeah, there was more going That's on. That's a lie, and you know it. You tailed her, watched her come out of a bar, and then beat her to death. Admit it, Henry. Why would I do that, detective? Actually, that one's... That one's wrong. Sorry. My mistake. Okay, well, How are we here. meant to believe that, Jacob? It isn't looking good for you. That nosy bitch from next door, Jenny Horgan. She'll tell you I left. <laughs> and what time? Ah, piss. Why did you kill her, Jacob? Things will go better if you come clean about it. That's a lousy thing to say. I never gave up on my wife. Really? I don't believe you, Jacob. I think you didn't have the guts to do it yourself, so you had someone else do it. You want to back that up with something, Big Mouth? Huh? Let's see here. <laughs> Marital problems there. Here we go. Oh, well, actually, the 
note by the phone suggests you meant her harm. You want the truth? Truth is, I was sick to death of her. I was trying to have her committed. We're still going to need you to come downtown, Mr. Henry. We can get this all down on paper, Jacob. How you got fed up with your wife and how you figured killing her would bury all your troubles. Kill my own wife? She was a loss of the trap and you just couldn't stand it anymore. Shut your goddamn mouth. <laughs> so now you're going to tell me you loved her? Ah, the DA goes all gooey over remorse, Jacob. Oh, that's assault. Oh, God, this one could fuck a fight. We've got a cutscene. Call it in and get a squad car dispatched. And check for messages. I'll keep old Slugger here company. Well, that's a solid police officer, so we got that. All right, go ahead and call it. Good little ring. Operator, give me dispatch. Operator. Putting right. you through now. Phelps badge 1247. Kellogg's Corn Flakes Game I need a patrol unit to transport a suspect back to Central. Certainly, Detective. You have a message from the coroner. Do you wish to be put through? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Carruthers. It's Phelps. I've completed the autopsy. Several wounds to the head from a blunt metal instrument. Closest match would be a socket wrench handle. Socket wrench handle. So the cause of death was the blunt. No, the blows to the head surprisingly were not fatal. Really? Death was from hemorrhage and shock from the fractured ribs and multiple injuries caused by the stomping. Anything else? He's some kind of sex fiend. The tissues of the anus were bruised about one eighth of an inch, but no trace of semen in the anus, vagina, or stomach. Hmm. Thanks, Doc. Operator, give me R and I. Any word on an owner for that vehicle? License was 2Boy8899? Yes, Detective. The plate belongs to a brown 1936 Pontiac. Registered owner is one Alonzo Mendez of 402 South Fremont Street, apartment 16. Thanks. I don't have a Any other messages? One, Detective. From Captain Donnelly. He wants any and all suspects returned to Central. Interviews to be set up immediately. Got gotcha. it. We're coming in. All right. Well, let's go ahead off to the uh, guy who owned the car. Now, national news. Like Alonzo Mendez. Sound like a man who moonlights as the werewolf? Go sound like a man I'd let my daughter in. You've got a daughter. Spend enough time drinking, Cole, you'll find yourself with any number of things you don't want. So, so that's why you never sober up. Exactly. Yeah, I have a fucking alcoholic as a fucking partner. Um, this one's actually pretty damn close. Cool. Brother said she took a real pounding. Maybe if he had been a little firmer in the beginning, he wouldn't be in this situation now. I'm oh, sorry. Jesus, Phelps! Sorry, that's probably thing like the 20th one I've hit so far. I imagine that Neanderthal routine is a big hit with the ladies, guys. Oh, <laughs> oh, I don't, I don't think I hit him, but that was close. All right, gotta see which one this is. Uh, belongs to the apartment of the guy who we're looking for. Let's see here, apartment 16. Mendez, apartment 16. I just said that. Alright, so I want to assume since that's a higher number, that'll be on the top floor. Hang on, let's look here. Fourth floor, okay. Alright, so second floor. Third floor. And fourth. Alright. Don't bother knocking, just kick the door in. Oh, okay. <laughs> Take a look Hello? And see what you can find. Well, he's not in here. Let's see what we got. So we got on the table here. It looks like some sugar, maybe. Apparently, I'm not allowed to look at those things. Oh, 
to take a smarter man than me to connect that. Yeah, we, we got you. Anything over here? Alright, let's just look what he has here. Junk. Sunset Gold Coffee. Anything in here? Not much help. No. We need to look for that lug wrench. I don't know how we. Maybe we check for a residue for like blood or something. And we'll just go. Oh, wait, we already came in free. What was? Why did we kick the door back open for? That seemed really unnecessary. What we got in here. Bedroom. Oh, here we go. The shoe. Is it a size eight? Yes, it is. And it looks dirty too. Size eights could help place Mendez at the scene. Starting to think Mendes might be the killer. Oh, yes, here we go. This is it right here. Lipstick. Brothers could match the color and brand of the body. There's someone walking in here. Can you hear the footsteps? Consistent with Celine's injuries, and the blood can be typed. Yeah. So that, yeah, I'm pretty sure this guy has to be a murderer. We have the murder weapon. We better get Pinker down here. Why keep it? Why not throw it away? Think these clowns are geniuses? Thank your stars you caught a break. Captain Donald would begin to like you. Hey, what gives? LAPD, you're under Put arrest. Put your hands up right now. Or not. Do not lose that son of a bitch. I'll go get our wheels. Ah, uh, here we go, guys. We're doing another oh, running stop section. Right there. Can we just like shoot these guys? It'd be so much more easier. Don't have to kill them, just shoot them in the fucking leg. God, I'll more rooftops so I have to run across. It feels like I'm playing fucking Spire. Uh, Cutscene. Wee! Oh shit, he's gonna get inside a car, isn't he? Fuck. Oh, looks like we gotta chase this son of a bitch now. Where's my vehicle? Yes, 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 there we go. Alright, time to do full NASCAR. Time to do it they are hard! Alright, folks, now I actually do need to use this iron for once. Oh! Let's see, he went down this back guy. There he is, I see him. Oh god, he almost flipped it right there. He was on two wheels. I got an idea. Get him next to my window, Cole. Keep me alongside his vehicle and I'll stop this son of a bitch. Are you gonna shoot him for the window? Bells! You gotta get me closer! I'm trying to. Oh, we got the tire out. Tire's out. Keep it steady I'm trying to bust this tire! Oh, oh well, we almost flipped him over. There we go. Get him out. You're under arrest for the murder of Celine Henry. Yeah, put your hands up, motherfucker. I ain't saying a goddamn thing. Smart. Now it's not leaving the murder weapon in your fucking apartment. Wait, we got this guy. Like everything that's you here is here. You did a grand job, lads. Phelps, that's quite a way to acquit yourself in your first outing as a homicide investigator. Oh, thank you. It seems the city has a new and vengeful guardian. Considering the evidence against your suspect and the thoroughness with which a report was compiled, I foresee a safe passage through the courts, and the DA agrees with me. Brutality on a scale such as this deserves retribution. The people. And the press of this city demanded. Wait, did I not get a drink? Oh, wait, I forgot I'm not an alcoholic like these two. Oh, that went well. Vehicle damage. Oh, God. City damage. I forgot. I hit everything underneath the fucking sun. All right, well that one that went well. All right, we did that pretty short amount of time too. Come back here. This pain. 
Do I have to come back here with my asshole friend who's racist? Or can I go here by myself? Call you uh, fucking up to keep by yourself. The Golden Butterfly. Yeah, let's see what the lead up in this case will be, and I'll call it a video. Let's see, one car. It looks like there's only one person in the vehicle. Just gonna step out here. It looks like it is a woman. Drop her keys. Uh, I'm seeing a murder about to take place, and POW! Uh, another great day in Los Angeles. By the way, someone else got killed. Galloway. Got it, Skipper. Yeah, I'll bring him. He's my partner, after all. What have we got? New case. White female dumped in plain sight in the grass at the end of Hill Street. Hacks are all over it. The captain's trying to fend them off. That sounds awfully similar. The first rule of police work is make no assumptions until you've seen the evidence. Skipper wants you to have your newspaper face on, college boy. I think I know the place where they found the lady. It overlooks Sunset Boulevard. Let's go. Yeah, I think those we'll are in there and find the guy. so happy about this. Well, anyway, I'd like to thank y'all for watching this video a little bit shorter. You know, but, you know, we divide a case into two halves. But anyway, thank y'all for watching. Phelps here looks like he's about to blow his fucking brains out. Or just maybe he's just staring off, just staring into our eyes. Literally. Hi, Phelps, how you doing? What's going on with you? You know, just, you know, you, you actually, we did a good job in that murder investigation. But, you know, we'll just stare off here in this wall. But anyway, <laughs> it's kind of coming something to stare has he blinked at all? There he is. Okay, there we go. Alright, now we can call it via since he blinked. Alright, thank you all for watching. We'll see you all next time. Peace.